What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Cyberpunk 2077? Some might say beautiful atmosphere, wonderful quest design, others, disappointment. We here at Players, we say penis customization. The character creation menu in Cyberpunk allows for a lot of variation and player choice. The character you play as is named V. There are no preset genders for V, but you can choose between a multitude of masculine and feminine features. On top of this, there are tattoos, cyber markings, eye design, wild or reserved hair, even a rare feature in games, teeth customization. All of these choices allow the player to design their own V, down to the, you know, uh, the wiener and the lady wiener. Uh, while simultaneously serving little to no use, as the player spends 99% of the time not even seeing V. Despite all the cool things you can change, the menu also lacks realism. For example, in what dystopian cyberpunk world would they limit the length you can make your dingus? I want to be running around with basically an insanely long rope dragging on the floor and causing my enemies to slip and fall over. Had a third person perspective been developed instead of scrapped by CD Projekt Red, the body customization provided to the player would have held more weight, being useful outside of mirrors or photo mode. This menu is great. It has close to anything a player could want. They really want balls to the wall. Ironically, there's no ball customization. Zero out of ten. Tune in to us in the upcoming weeks as we take the world of gaming in our hands and peel back the layers as players.